God does not see you as how your neighbor sees you. See, there's an example in the Bible. When Jesus was entering the house of Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus they, they begin to speak, oh, what is it that he's going to a sinner's house? He's a sinful man, man without mercy. Why he's entering to that place? They all see him as a sinner who is about to enter the hell. Hallelujah. But Jesus see him as a righteous person by his own blood who will enter the kingdom of God. Two different view. Two different view. And that's what God wants you to do also. You have to see things to the eyes of God. Though Samuel was an anointed man of God, he had one part, he could not understand how God sees people. After God corrected him, then he realized that God does not see by appearance, but only by heart. Hallelujah. See, people can be wrong about you, but God is always right about you. People can be wrong about you. They could misinterpret about your character, your nature, your life and everything based on what they see about you. But God is always right. Therefore, don't be offended when the world rejects you based on your appearance. But there is still one person who accepts you the way you are. He accepts you the way you are. Hallelujah. That day, David could be offended. David was the young. He could have heard, you know, the, the, the father could have told him, today the mighty prophet in our land, Samuel is coming to our house. You want to see all the sons. So you don't stay here, you go to the, the ship, and take uh, good care of the ship there. Hallelujah. He was standing, you know, he's feeding the ships there. Hallelujah. Now what happened is, he could be offended thinking that, oh yeah, I'm not tall like my brothers. I'm not tough like my brothers. You know, I'm not wise like my brothers. Of course, this, the shepherds, they will be very smelly. You know, maybe I'm too smelly for them. Bad smell on me. You know, that's how he could have feel by himself. But what happened is that the seven who is very good in the appearance are rejected by God. This man, the youngest, was chosen. Read with me the book of uh, uh, 1 Samuel 16, verse 11. And Samuel said to Jess, uh -huh. are all the young men here? Are all the young men here? Then he said. Then he said. There remain yet the youngest. There remain yet the youngest. And there he is. Uh -huh. Keeping the sheep. Keeping the sheep. And Samuel said to Jess. Uh -huh. Send and bring him. Send and bring him. For we will not sit down. Something very interesting. So for we will not sit down. Until he comes here. Until he comes here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a meal prepared for Samuel, the prophet of God. He said that, send for him. We will not sit and eat until he comes. Such a great honor. The one whom they rejected, the one whom they thought the youngest, you know, worthless, a smelly boy, you know, who's not, in good, not a good looking person, whom they, they thought it's, a, it's a, uh, not a wise person, still young, doesn't know anything yet, is the same person chosen by God. Hallelujah. They see him as a shepherd. As a shepherd. You know, only he alone is shepherd. The rest are all working in, in, the, in, the, in the kingdom of Saul as a soldiers. Hallelujah. So they all said, it could be me next. I should be the next king because I'm already in that line ready, already on the way already. But they never realized that someone who has nothing to do with the palace is going to be on the throne very soon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even the own father does not have the confidence on his son. He feels like ah, he is good for nothing. Always with his heart. With the last thing that he has. And keep on telling stories saying that the lion came, the bear came. Uh, who want to believe the stories are? That's what the father could have thought about him. Rejected him based on what he heard, what he said about him. Hallelujah. But there is someone in heaven who carefully observed David day and night. He knows the content of his heart. He knows what is in the heart of David. He knows the spirit of David. And God has David in his mind saying that, this is the man after my own heart. You are the person I'm talking to. You are the person. 
You might come here today being rejected by many people around you. Many could have labeled you with many kinds of names, many kind of things. Many could have uh, uh, said things about your future based on your past. Many could have said that uh, you will never change at all. Many could have given up with you. But deep in your heart, you know that you keep on trying and trying, but you're not able to rise up. But the people feel that you're not trying at all. There is someone in heaven who knows what's in your heart. There is someone in heaven who knows what is in your spirit. Hallelujah. He knows what is your struggle and how much you are trying in your heart, in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And even you yourself thought that others will be selected. Others will be selected. That's how David thought. Maybe but the first one will be selected. Elijah will be selected. Or maybe the second one, he's very smart, he'll be selected. That, that could be his calculation that day. Hallelujah. But what happened is that God gave him a surprise that he is the chosen one. Imagine the prophet is standing in the house, waiting for the new king of Israel. The new king of Israel. He said, I will never sit. I will never sit until he comes. And that's the day where all the brothers of David, even his father, were so shocked. They thought this guy is a trash, a useless guy. But even this prophet is standing for him, waiting for him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What I'm trying to tell is something. Only one thing is that don't judge your future based on what people say about you. Don't judge your life based on what people say about you. That is their opinion. That is their, tell your neighbor, that is their opinion. Not God's opinion about you. Hallelujah. Greater is his thoughts and plans concerning you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you know God does not see you as how others see you, it will be very easy for you to walk into the presence of God. It will be very easy. In the book of Hebrew, you know, uh, chapter 11 is very clearly mentioned that nobody can seek God without faith. You can never enter the presence of God without faith. The problem is you believe what people speak about you. You believe what all people you know, write about you, thinks about everything. And that's, you feel like that's the final thing. But you don't realize God has a different opinion about you. But this is the doing of the Lord. Tell me, this is the doing of the Lord. The stone that they rejected turned to be the, the cornerstone. Hallelujah. That's what you will be too. You can be rejected today. But it is you that God has chosen to exalt you like David. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the very first thing you must understand, God does not see you as how others see you. If you know this clearly, if you know this clearly, it doesn't matter what people say about you. You will keep on walking with God. You will keep on walking with God. You will not have any guilty conscience in you. You will not stop in any, any part of your life. You will keep going with God. That's your faith with God. Hallelujah.